Hi YouTube, Susan here again. Welcome back to my channel. I have an exciting unboxing for you today. I just received uh, from MDG my new Lenovo IdeaPad 330 laptop. It's uh, the uh, configuration is the 17.3 inch um, screen on it. And I'll get into the specs a bit later. Okay, let's first of all, let's see what's in the box. I have not cracked this baby yet. Let's see what comes in the box and get our first look at this beautiful laptop. Now, undo that. Undo that. Okay, first of all, it is very nicely packed, very secure, lots of styrofoam, um, which protects it in shipping. There is the power pack and the cord um, for plugging into the AC and uh, into the computer. Okay, that is the main thing. Now, okay. Oh, we have paperwork. Slid out on top here. Okay. We have, um, okay. We have a booklet in a bunch of different languages that I don't speak. Uh, okay. We have Portuguese. We have, uh, Danish. Croatian, uh, oh, there's English, uh, Greek, French, Korean, Italian, they, they cover a lot of languages. Okay, the English page tells me automatic updates for pre-installed software. Um, okay, just saying, starting with Windows 10, uh, releases periodic updates for Windows operating system. Currently, these updates are provided twice per year. When an update is available, download and install automatically through Windows Update. That's standard stuff. If you're, if you're used to computers, that's standard. Uh, safety and warning guide. Uh, just a fold-up pamphlet like this. Um, just tells you about the battery, the rechargeable battery, limit of liability, uh, customer responsibilities for warranty service, etc. Okay, so that's important to keep. And we have uh, just basically describing what should be in the box, uh, which is the computer itself, the paperwork that I'm showing you now, and the uh, power pack to plug it in and charge it up. Okay, here we go. Let's get to the real thing here. Okay. Nothing else in here, just the styrofoam. So, let's, let's see this puppy now. Okay. Put that away in the box. And here we go. Here's your first look at it. And my first look at it other than online when I picked it out. It is a nice platinum gray. It is fairly thin um, closed and it is like I said 17.3 inch screen. It's no small netbook by any means. Okay this thing weighs uh, 6.2 pounds um, but Given what I'm going to be using it for, I don't need it to be ultra portable or ultra light or any of that. So uh, it suits me just fine. It has the Lenovo branding right here. And underneath it has the, uh, the vent and the window sticker official. Um, and little rubberized feet so it's anti-skid which is really excellent. Now, uh, it simply opens. There's no catch to click or anything, which is great. Um, those are annoying and can break, right? It's much easier if it's just simply open or close. 
Now here we go. There is the beauty right there. We have uh, the complete number pad over here on the right and um, looks like nice big buttons easily accessed a trackpad um, not too close to the edge so it's easier to use and uh, the Intel i uh, core i7 sticker that shows you the processor in there <coughs> the screen is uh, really nice uh, this is a 17.3 high def um, anti-glare screen that measures uh, 1600 by 900 pixels in uh, dimension uh, it is running Windows 10 home this uh, webcam is a 720 P uh, camera and it has a single microphone which is fine as long as you got a microphone it works um, it has two 1.5 watt speakers with Dolby audio which is great um, it comes kitted up with 12 gigs of DDR4 RAM it has a terabyte SATA hard drive and it has a DVD RW drive in it and it uh, the screen is driven by Intel Ultra High Def Graphics 620. So that is plenty for me. Um, this is not meant to be a gaming system. This system will be used for my YouTube channel, for processing videos, for um, pretty much anything I want to do with it. And it gives me the ability to be portable more so than my tower sitting over here. <laughs> I can use both machines and thanks to things like Apple and uh, Google Chrome everything can be synced so I can start working on my tower and pick up here um, take this into the living room with me and continue working on my laptop so I'm looking forward to this. Now I will bring it around to the camera and give you a closer look at the sides. Now this is um, not getting the lighting here. Hang on. Um, okay, this is the side. The right side has the DVD RW drive in it. Uh, around the front, it is uh, sloped. It's tapered, and it's really nice. There's nothing on there, which means nothing will be plugged in and in your way in the front. Um, on the other side, we have um, a LAN port for RJ45 cable. Uh, we have HDMI access here, so I can port it out to a TV or a, a screen, a bigger screen. Um, we have two USB 3.0 outlets. Um, an audio jack, the standard audio jack on it. We have a USB-C port, which is the newest out there. Um, it's small and it's it you, doesn't matter which direction you plug it in. Um, USB-C is the uh, the newest kit on the block uh, for um, connection points. I think it's USB 3.1 technically, but it's USB-C. That's what it's known by. And I have a 4-in-1 card reader. Now that card reader will read um, SD, SDHC, SDXC, and MMC. So uh, pretty much anything you want to read on there, it'll, it'll read it. It uh, also has a Bluetooth 4.1 and uh, looks to be quite the thing here. Okay, let's, um, because these are, are um, stored and then they're shipped, right? You, you never have quite enough power. So when you first get it, you need to plug it in 
and charge it the first time. And uh, that plugs in right there. Okay, let's fire it up for the first time now that it's plugged in. And there we go. Okay, it will take a little bit longer this time because it's a brand new um, setup. Uh, but I expect with an i7 chip it will be performing pretty fast. Uh, once I get it all set up and, and just how I want it. Okay. Come on. Lenovo. There we go. I will do an update video on this showing you the features and stuff once I get used to them. Um, I will also be doing another video on my MDG computer tower and screen. I have had that for a little over a year and uh, it's time I did a little bit of a review on it. I'll let you know whether I think it's good, bad, whatever, any problems with it, etc. Okay. Um, I'm also doing another video on MDG and what it's like to deal with them online and um, my experience with them, both my first purchase and now my second purchase. So um, please stay tuned for those. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider hitting the subscribe button and make sure you ring the bell so that you get notifications to your inbox every time I upload a new video. I would appreciate that very much, and it's free to subscribe to a YouTube channel. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like. If you didn't like it, please hit the dislike, and let me know in the comment section what was <laughs> what, what it was you didn't like. And uh, I'm always striving to improve um, here on my channel. And if if I, you know, get constructive criticism, I'm all good with that, and I'll try and improve. But uh, anyway, for that, uh, I think I'll just leave that here for now. I'll uh, let this power up fully and set it up according to my preferences. And uh, I'll be back with more videos for sure on this computer, my tower, and everything else. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.